Let's review what we have so far. Genetic engineering transfers genes between species. The process itself creates mutations throughout the DNA, which can produce new allergens, toxins, and other nasties. The inserted genes and their proteins may trigger inflammation, which might promote numerous problems such as digestive disorders, allergies, diabetes, autoimmune disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, kidney disease, thyroid disease, and heart attacks. Genetically engineered Bt corn produces an insecticide, which may break holes in our intestinal walls. If so, experts link gut permeability to allergies, autism, and premature aging, as well as other disorders such as autoimmune disease, cancer, asthma, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and others. Most GM plants are engineered to survive doses of Roundup herbicide. Roundup steals nutrients, which can lead to nutrient-deficient plants, animals, and humans. Roundup can also cause birth defects and other reproductive disorders. Lab animals that ate Roundup-ready crops lost a large number of offspring. Roundup is also linked to infertility, which may be from disrupted hormones, nutrient deficiency, or a brand new organism. FDA scientists had warned that GMOs were dangerous, but their boss was a Monsanto man. Monsanto sells Roundup, and most GM seeds. The FDA doesn't require any studies and doesn't monitor any health issues linked to GMOs. A 12, 2012 ballot initiative campaign to label GMOs, and I say support it.